What's up guys? Today's video we are eating with fast food newspaper coupons for 24 hours. I am so excited about this video because I have never done this challenge before but we got some newspaper coupons in the mail and I thought how fun would it be to do a 24 hour video where we eat the whole day using these coupons. So I will say the only catch is that you can only use one coupon per restaurant. So for example I have Arby's which we are actually at Arby's first but yeah you can only use one coupon per order so I have to be very strategic with how I use these coupons for the day but I did take a chance to like glance over all the coupons which I'll kind of show you guys them up close so for example we have a dollar 99 kids meal a $15 family pack which is a ton of food wow <laughs> two for seven chicken choice so pretty much any chicken sandwich we have a two for seven euro coupon I'm actually going to be using this one because I really want a euro I feel like a euro just sounds so freaking good you can either choose from Greek or roast beef so we're gonna do the Greek kind I've never had a Greek euro at Arby's also got my scissors with me <laughs> we are gonna be cutting out the coupon coupons and hopefully I can use these in the drive-thru I'm pretty sure I can guys I feel like so old school doing this because nowadays people just use the coupons on the apps or like online you know everything is digital nowadays okay let's go ahead and pop into the drive-thru and use our two for seven euro coupon hi um I have a coupon for two for seven dollar euros okay um can I get two Greek euros please Okay. And that's gonna be it. Okay, thank you. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to tell her that I have like the coupon. I don't know if I've ever really used newspaper coupons. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have, but I just can't quite remember, you know, the etiquette of using newspaper coupons. But I think I'm just gonna like say that whenever I pop up to the window is say, oh, I have this coupon. And then, you know, they kind of take it from there. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. You too. All right, you guys. We have secured our Arby's bag. Also, I gave her the coupon whenever I gave her the card. You know, little nifty move there. Okay, let's go get parked. I am so excited about this Euro. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love the Euros at Arby's, which I've only had the turkey version. Is that even considered a Euro? I don't know. I think it is. I had that in a mukbang actually a really long time ago, but I've always wanted to try their Greek version, which I think is made with lamb. I don't know, I could be wrong. Is Arby's bougie enough to have lamb? I'm not sure. Okay, we just got parked and I actually realized I am parked in a bowling alley parking lot. I didn't even realize that we had a bowling alley in this town, but it's kind of like hidden off on the side of the road because Arby's is right on the side of the road and then the bowling alley is like way behind Arby's. So I would have never noticed that before. Okay, anyways, here's our Euros from Arby's that we got two for seven dollars. I almost wonder, could you ask for the two for seven dollars without the coupon? Like, is that just a deal that they have ongoing that you don't even need the newspaper coupon for? I will feel really stupid if so, but for the fun of the video, we are just going to assume no. <laughs> she also asked me if I wanted any sauce, and I asked her if she thought any of the sauces were like good with the euros, and she gave me the spicy three pepper sauce, which I do love, and I don't know why, but they just have so many sauces at Arby's that I forget what all sauces they have and I don't know what's good with the Euro. So I'm glad I asked for her suggestion. So here is Greek Euro number one. And then we have Greek Euro number two, which I'm a big Gabe, but let me show you guys both of them. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's so much meat on here. Hmm. Okay, that meat is actually really good. Okay, they load these up with meat. Whoa, I mean, I know their slogan is we got the meats, but I didn't realize they got the meats like this. They are not skimping you at all. Okay, quick side note, I was trying to get my thumbnail and all the toppings fell out of the Euro right onto my lap and now my sweatpants are covered in Euro juices. So I'm going to give this Euro 
to Gabe. Not the one that fell out onto my lap, but the one that is still in good condition and has all the toppings. Okay, here is the Euro that kind of fell apart on me, but let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm gonna try it without the sauce first. It does already have mayonnaise on it, but yeah, as you can hear, everything is kind of falling out. So it's a little messy. Mmm. Okay, wait, that's definitely not mayonnaise. It must be like a tzatziki kind of sauce. Okay, actually that is so good. I actually do like this one better than the turkey version. Let's put the spicy three pepper sauce on here and try it with that, which to be honest, I don't even think it needs that sauce. Mm. Okay, it is good with that sauce. The pita bread is so freaking soft. So soft, oh my goodness. Also, I wanted to give you guys a little update on the traders because I talked about the traders in my last video and I actually started watching the second season of the American version. I think I'm about halfway through, but this season is so good. It is my favorite out of all the seasons that I watched, which I've only watched the US season one and then the UK season one. So now I'm on the US season two, but it's so good. I didn't think I was going to love it because it's pretty much all reality stars and I kind of prefer when they just use regular regular people that you don't know but actually this round of like reality stars some of them are so creative and I don't know it's just really interesting so I have been really enjoying this season I know I said it in my last video but if you guys like game shows and you haven't seen the traders definitely recommend it on Peacock. Which, I used to be a big fan of Survivor. Like, whenever I was younger, I loved Survivor. I didn't realize that Survivor was still a thing and that, like, it was so big. I don't know. I thought they stopped filming Survivor years ago, to be honest. Okay, that is one of the most satisfying fast food items I've ever had. I almost like that better than the Whopper. Oh my gosh, that is saying something. I love myself a BK Whopper, but that Euro is undeniably good. Mm, I can't stop eating it. <laughs> Okay, quick final thought on that gyro. You guys have to try it with a three pepper sauce. If you've never tried the gyro with this sauce, it is definitely a must try. The more that I ate it with and without it, the more I realized I, I do prefer the gyro with this sauce. That is absolutely incredible. Okay guys, where to next? <laughs> where to next with our coupons? I am thinking we go to Hardee's because I have been absolutely craving this freaking sandwich. It looks so good. So on here we have this $2 off any size Philly cheesesteak Angus burger. The Philly cheesesteak items I believe are either new or returning. I want to say they're returning, but oh, they are. <laughs> it literally says up here, so good the Philly is back. So they are returning. I have never tried the Philly cheesesteak items at Hardee's, but it looks absolutely insanely delicious like oh my goodness i've got to try this so i think when it says two dollars off any philly cheesesteak angus burger that means any combo so i believe we can actually get fries this time i really missed my fries with this rv's order so definitely want to get some fries but yeah i think we're going to use that coupon okay i will see you guys over at hardy's hardy's 
Hi, um, I have a coupon for $2 off any size Philly cheesesteak Angus burger. All right, it was your drink. Um, I'll do, let's see. Um, I'll just take a small water, please. You want like a cup of water? Uh, yes. Anything else? No, that's gonna be it. All right, put on. I'll get your credit card. Okay, thank you. Hi, how's it going? Um, um so here's the coupon. Thank you. All right, perfect. Here you go. Um, no, that's okay. Thanks, have a good day. All right, you guys, we have secured our Hardee's bag. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I've actually become kind of a big fan of Hardee's over the past, like, I don't know how long. I don't get it off camera, but I love whenever I have an excuse to get it for a YouTube video. Okay, so I don't know if that was like the best coupon to use because we still paid $9.51. Originally, it would have been $10.89. So then the $2 brought it down to $8.89 and then it was $62 sales, $62. 62 cents sales tax. Wow, $62 would have been crazy. Um, so 9.51 total. I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming the sandwich is really big because the combo initially is very expensive. Here's our french fries. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Love me some Hardee's fries. Kind of wish I would have got some honey Q sauce to go with it, but it's all good. <laughs> okay, here is the sandwich. This thing is massive. I don't know if you guys can tell, but wow. Also, I believe this was the only coupon that you could use for the sandwich, which is why I wanted to use that coupon because I really wanted to try the sandwich. But they actually have a ton of breakfast coupons as well. You can get two for $4.99 country fried steak biscuits. I feel like that's a really good deal. You can get a dollar cinnamon roll. If you guys saw that video, y'all know I love the cinnamon roll at Hardee's. Mmm. You can get two for $7 Famous Star. Now that is a good deal. Okay, so some of these coupons are really good. Wow, you guys, look at this burger. Oh my goodness. This thing is hefty. I'm pretty sure this burger also has grilled onions on it, which I love. Okay, yeah, this is deadly. <laughs> the mayonnaise on this burger really makes it, takes it to a whole other level. The only thing kind of weird about it is the texture. I can't tell if it's the texture of the steak or the actual burger patty. Besides that though, taste is 10-10 and I'm pretty sure it's on a potato bun too, which I love. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, that's delicious with the french fries. Man, these fries are amazing. <laughs> okay, so that cheeseburger, I'm gonna have to give a nine out of 10. I don't think it's quite a 10 out of 10 because sometimes you get a weird bite, like texture wise. Taste is very delicious. French fries are always a 10 out of 10. I mean, <laughs> I like pretty much all fries from anywhere. I'm not a picky gal when it comes to fries. I do want something sweet now. We do have a coupon for free cookie with any purchase from Subway but I do want to get one of the combos at Subway for dinner time. So we have a lot of different options at Subway. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna get, but one of the coupons is you can get a six inch meal for $6.49. That includes the drink and the chips plus the six inch sub. That is such a good deal. I actually feel like these Subway coupons are really good. 
could we come back to Hardee's after Subway maybe? They have a dollar cinnamon roll, so I could get that after dinner tonight. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what the vibe is, but yeah, that was Hardee's, you guys. That Philly cheesesteak burger, very delicious. I'm glad I got to try it with a little bit of a savings with the newspaper coupon, but I will see you guys back here for dinner time, which again, will be at Subway. All right, you guys, it is now dinner time and we are at Subway, and I thought I would actually shake things up. So I was thinking it would be so much funner if I randomly drew a coupon and then I had to use that coupon instead of selecting it myself. So I put all of the coupons in this hat. We got them all in there. So I think I'm just going to randomly draw one out and that's the one that we're going to use. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Da, 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 da. Okay. So we got get a foot long meal for $8.99. I actually feel like that's a really good coupon to get. Okay, I'm gonna try and get a foot long off of the menu because I feel like trying to customize a whole sandwich in the drive-thru is a little bit difficult. So let's see what they got on the menu. Okay, so I'm reading the small print here because I feel like you always gotta read the small print. And it says that it excludes the foot long sidekicks, which I'm pretty sure is just their little snacks like the pretzel, churro, and cookie. But it also excludes the monster, the Mexi Cali, the turkey cali club the beast and the garlic roast beef <laughs> so i have to make sure i don't get one of those subs hello welcome to subway how many sandwiches are you having today hi um i have a coupon for a foot long meal for eight dollars and 99 cents oh yes ma'am we can use that what kind of bread um i will take a uh, wheat bread please all right what kind of meat and cheese um, let's see. Um, can I get oven roasted turkey, please, and provolone? Yes, ma'am, and would you like that toasted? Uh, yes, please. All right, and where else on that? Um, can I get lettuce, tomato, banana peppers, onions, mayonnaise, mustard, um, I'll do salt, pepper, and let's see. Um, I think that's gonna be it. So you said mayo, mustard, salt, and pepper, banana peppers, onions, tomatoes, and lettuce? Yes. All right, and is that all for you? Yeah, and for the chips, um, could I get, um, I'll do salt and vinegar, please. All right, and what's your drink? Um, I'll do lemonade. All right, and is that all for you today? Yep, yeah, that's gonna be it. All right, sounds good. Just pull up to the uh, window and I'll be with you as soon as I can. Okay, perfect, thank you. Very welcome, thank you. Okay, so I decided just to build my sandwich because one, the conversation prompted that. He asked me what me's and me's. Wow, what meat and cheese I wanted. And also I didn't want to accidentally get a sub that was excluded from the coupon. So I figured, you know what, let's just, let's just build our own sub. Even though it's so hard to remember what all toppings they get. Because whenever you go inside a Subway, you see all the toppings in front of you. So you can pick and choose which ones you want. And then whenever you're doing it through the intercom, you have to try and remember <laughs> what toppings you want. Which I feel like the simpler the better, because then it's like easier to eat. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll check in with you guys once we are up to pay. Get them our coupon. Hi. Sorry, what was that? What um, meat? It was turkey. Turkey? Yes. Uh, which one chips like? Uh, salt and vinegar, please. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, you guys. Our Subway order has been secured. Does anyone else think that Subway smells so freaking good? Like, first off, it is so nostalgic. And yeah, it's just like such an overwhelming, not overwhelming. It's a very powerful smell. That's the right word. I don't know if where y'all live, y'all have the Walmarts where they have Subway inside of the Walmart. And every single time you walk into Walmart, you smell the Subway and it just makes you want Subway, but yeah. Okay, so unfortunately the receipt doesn't tell me the price of what it would have been without the coupon. I will try to find it online and pop it up on the screen, but I feel like with Subway, it's so hard to find prices because you have to actually like build the meal online and then it'll show you the price if I remember correctly, but oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Let me see if I can find my straw. Okay, I know she gave me a straw, but I have seemed to misplace it. So I'm just gonna have to take the lid off and try the lemonade this way. I've actually never had the lemonade from Subway before. Usually I would have got a Diet Coke, but can't drink Diet Coke anymore. 
Ooh. Okay, that's actually a really good lemonade. I'm so picky with lemonades because I don't like when they're too syrupy sweet. That's some good lemonade. Okay, Subway. Let's check out this footlong sub. Okay, we have to proceed with caution because the mayonnaise and mustard is falling out the sides. It's on the wrapper. <laughs> I don't want to get it all over the place. Okay, I think we're safe to not make a mess. But also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the video quality whenever I was at Hardee's was really, really bad because I messed up settings on the camera. And whenever I watched it back on my laptop, I realized it did not look great. <laughs> so I think I fixed it. Hopefully, I won't know until I watch it back on my laptop. But hopefully, it looks better and it's fixed now. I couldn't quite remember what my initial settings were, to be honest, because I've never done that before. But okay here is the half of the sub let's try this out mm. oh my gosh that's delicious That is a good sub right there. The turkey was such a good decision. I used to always get the chicken whenever I went to Subway back in the day, but her turkey's so good. We got kettle cooked salt and vinegar chips, which are my favorite. I like pretty much any brand of kettle cooked salt and vinegar chips. They are definitely my favorite chip right now. I love the air fried salt and vinegar chip as well. Mmm. Oh, they're so crunchy. I think out of all the food I've had today, this Subway is definitely my favorite. But in terms of coupons, what was the best coupon? I guess if this is pretty expensive without the coupon, this one could be good. But I kind of feel like the two for seven dollar euros at Arby's was maybe the best deal that we got. Let me know if you guys use like newspaper coupons in your everyday life when you eat out. I don't know how common newspaper coupons are, but I remember at our old apartment we got newspaper coupons in the mail and I kind of just never paid attention to them and I just threw them away. But then yeah, I thought wow, it would actually make a really fun video. So I'm glad I did this, but I would love to know if you guys ever <laughs> still use the newspaper coupons. Okay, lemonade at Subway, very underrated. I never hear anyone talk about their lemonade, but if you guys haven't tried the lemonade at Subway, I recommend trying it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to wrap up dinner here. That Subway was 10 out of 10. That was a delicious sub. Wow. Wow.